You know those stinking hot days when you just want to get out of the office or leave home, duck out for an hour or two and wet your head, chill out, and then go back to whatever it is you're doing? Well, a lot of boats, that's just too hard, too complicated, too much equipment, too difficult to organise, help to get, help get out of the marina berth, and so it doesn't happen. No fun. What's the point of having a boat? Well, on this boat, that's not the case. This is a 28 T-top, a Series 2 model, I'm going to walk you through. Starting on the back of the boat, this is a cabin version. You can option these boats with a few different layouts and this sunshade or sun lounge, I should say, below has a double bed, which we'll check out in a second. The all important ski pole just here, that's got a capacity of about 150 kilos, so pull biscuits, weight boards, the odd skier. One level transom platform, so you can walk around to both sides and you have a swim ladder on the back. We have dual fender lockers for fender and rope on either side, also acts as a handy seat. And we have a freshwater shower just here. You might not be able to see, but that is a subwoofer and then we have six speakers dotted around the boat. Just here, when you're in lounging mode, pop that forward, put your throw cushions. How's that for a view? The Axa Pass have always had this uh, go fast race car look and it's no different on this 28 T-top. You'll get four adults across the back here and very comfortable and secure when you're going for a drive. These things are, are blisteringly fast and we'll show you that when we get the drone up in the air. But it's not just about going places and going fast. When you're at rest, you've got everything you need for a social day. This seat turns into a lounge. Both of these seats spin around. There is a teak table, which concertina's out like this. And so you have another lunch table and a second table up the front. In each seat, we've got storage for phones and wallets and knickknacks. We have a phone charging station just up here on the port side. Drink holders and on each side as well and up on the bow. We have a, a neat ledge just here on the dash. Um, good place to put your phone and your keys. Engine diagnostics, chart plotter by Simrad, Garmin VHF, side power bow thruster, trim tab operation, electronic throttle, power assisted steering, everything you need and nothing you don't. Just having a look. Okay, so this is the cabin. I'll just jump in so you can see there's a little footwell which allows you to step in without putting your feet on the bed. And then, check this out. How's that for an afternoon nap? This large hatch opens here, this face is aft, and this large hatch, small hatch I should say, not large, opens forward. So you get cross flow ventilation. We've got two windows on either side with blinds, and we've got a couple of lights, and even a small knickknack shelf for your mobile phone, and some 12 volt charging, 240 on that side. This also doubles as your gear storage area. When you go out for the day, everyone will arrive with their bags and their towels. Basically, throw your bags downstairs, keep what you want for the day up on decks. Phones, wallets, in the little knick-knack holders, anything that needs to go on charge goes up front, you're ready to rock and roll. Sunbrella. T-top, gives you plenty of protection. You don't need to infill this area with clears. It's just not necessary. Um, you, know, you can beat any of the storm fronts coming through this thing so fast, but uh, it, it does have full mooring covers, which zip onto this zipper here. Windscreen wipers, obviously. This is your second lounge area up on the boat. This is a multi-use area. So we have a picnic table right now. We can seat four adults comfortably. This also, drops down, we replace these legs with short ones and we have a cushion which just infills this area, turn it into a day bed. But on a day like today, when I'm cooking in the sun, we just have 
two stainless steel poles which slide in there and there and then four clips this whole area is protected with a, a black sunshade anchor locker just in here we got the manual anchor on this boat although you can modify it to go electric and this design is set up so it's very very easy to pick up people from fixed docks like we have just here or if you're rafting up with friends and you want to nose in and drop people on and off other boat all important loo so that's a manual head with holding tank and we have a small sink with fresh water to wash your hands As always, that's just a bucket load of fun. I love these boats and you will too. If you're interested in this one, jump on our website, www.theboatbrokerage.com.au. See you on the next one. Guys, if you're boat obsessed like us, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Smash the like button as well if you like what you see and we'll attempt to keep posting just more like this.